Okay, let's go and see what we'll eat, what we can find. Corpses and dead explorers. What he has Hello? to say. Hello? Are you related to Waldo? You look very much like him. And you are also as silent as him. It's his dad. Uh, grab him. This thing was hanging out from one of his pockets. I'm sure he will not miss his... survivalist magazine. Okay, something tells me the tips inside this magazine aren't that effective. But let's look at it anyway. Hey, I found a coupon inside. Woo! Cubans. Cubans? Cupins. Cubans. So we go to the camp. Where's the camp at? That's a tornado of fire. And there's a hair in my eye. Is it? Did it say the camp? Oh, no, the castle. I can't read, apparently. Um, hi. Hello, little imp. What kind of wicked artifact are you selling? I'm selling cookies, sir! And what kind of cookies are these? Poisonous? Laxatives? Cursed? Oh, let me guess. The green ones. They have some kind of explosive charge inside, right? No, sir. The green ones are pistachio cookies? Poison pistachio? Regular pistachio. And the rest? Vanilla, chocolate, and blueberry. No gimmicks. No poison. No acid. No, sir, that would be hazardous for the customers. What kind of imp are you? I'm an imp scout, sir. I'm selling cookies for the Blind Bats Troop. If we sell 200 more, we're going to travel to Doom Mountain Camp. Imp scouts? Yes, sir. I knew I would find terrible things in the underworld, but this surpasses my expectations. Uh, wait, what do you do? What do the imp scouts do? We do all kinds of interesting things, like bird watching, camping, whistling, hiking. We learn all about respecting wildlife, we feed older people, we feed zombies, and all kinds of fun activities. Do any of those fun activities involve explosives? No, not really. It doesn't sound like real fun to me. Can you scout for another entrance to the castle? Yes, sir. I can be really short-sighted, but I'm a member of the Blind Bat Troop. I can use echolocation to scout an area. Great. Give me a minute. And? What did you find? I found that there's another entrance just to the right of those four guards. There are only two guards. Oh, really? Then my estimations about you being three meters tall are also incorrect. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I should keep practicing. I keep at it. Um... <clears throat> Do you know anything about those plants? Do you know anything about those carnivorous plants over there? That's <clears throat> a species of Carnivora cherimolium. This kind of plant feeds on unsuspecting burgers. Burgers? Yes, this part of the underworld is infested by flying hamburgers. Luckily in the winter they all immigrate to Gluttony Island. But don't expect to see that particular specimen eating much. Last year it became vegetarian. So now he eats flying broccoli? No, flying carrots. But I highly suspect that the smaller of the flowers is eating bacon when the other ones aren't looking. Okay, but I want flying burgers and bacon. Are you blind? No, but I'm heavily short-sighted. Can you see my hand? No, but I do know we're in daylight. Isn't that a problem while scouting? As a member of the Blind Bat Troop, I use my other senses to scout. For instance, I can tell by using my heightened olfactory senses that something is burning nearby. We are surrounded by lava. The burnt smell is everywhere. Exactly as I predicted. You see, my short sight isn't a problem for a scout. Eh, good job. Um, cookies. About the cookie business. Yes? Uh, how much? Eh, how much for the cookies? It's 20 Bernios for a dozen. You can say our prices are a bit high, but that's nothing compared to the prices of that giant spider on the market. Do you offer free samples? We only feed elderly people or the undead. So, sorry. If you want to try our cookies, you'll have to buy them. If I don't try them, how am I going to know if I like them? I just follow the Imp Scout code. Okay. 
Um, bye. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, sir. What about you? Uh, talk. Hi. What do you want? Can, can, can I? I enter the castle? No, you can't. Why not? King Vigo came earlier from his vacation with some humans. He doesn't want to be disturbed. But I must talk. I must talk with King Vigo. Open the gates. No one can enter the castle. It's the direct order of King Vigo. But I'm a very important person. Who are you? Tell me the name of someone really important. King Vigo. No, another one. King Vigo's mom? Exactly. No. Well, that's it. I'm King Vigo's dad. King Vigo's dad is dead. You don't understand. I'm his real father. I don't think so. King Vigo's real dad wears a mustache and have a pair of horns less than his dead father. And I guess I'm confused. I'm afraid you are, sir. Should I beat him? I don't think so. The boss will be mad at you if you break another staff this week. That's true. What if I gave you my staff and I just punch him? That's against the rules. I guess you're lucky I'm looking for that promotion. Whew. I mean, I'm probably gonna beat myself later though, so uh... Uh, open the gate! Do you want to get me killed? Because that's how you get me killed. What are you blabbling? Should I beat him? No! At least not yet. I guess you're lucky I'm looking for that promotion! You really want that promotion? You know the other way in? know any other way in? No sir, this is the only entrance. Unless you are asking for the secret entrance. So there is a secret entrance. No. But you just told me. Should I beat him? I don't know. I've suddenly remembered that I have other matters to attend to. Okay, bye. Never mind. I'm gonna go uh, to another place. Um, market. And then. L Dragon Contendo. Oh, okay. Um, turn around. Mine. I'm evil. But now, what do I do? Okay, I go back outside. Oh, who are you though? Toad man. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Sad day, isn't it? Why do you say that? Well, this is a terrible day for show business. What happened? Our drummer, Great Flavio, just left the band. We have two shows tomorrow, and we'll have to cancel both of them. Why don't you find a replacement? It's hard to find drummers like him. Was he that good? No, he was 20 centimeters tall. That was his drum. Why don't you have a regular sized drummer in your band then? You just can't use a regular drummer when the name of the band is the amazing 20 centimeters band. But you are taller than that. That's not a problem. I don't go on stage. I'm the manager. By the way, I'm Alexander Krastikavit, and you are? My name is Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, Sid. Are you one of those demons that can shrink? No, not really. Oh, what a sad day for show business. Uh, where's the where's rest of the band? the rest of the band? Now they're at the hotel. I left them in my suitcase. I don't want to lose another member. Uh... Cars outside. How could I recognize your drummer if I found him? Well, he had large eyes, a slender body with a long and furry tail. He was always eating nuts and moving quickly from one place to the other. You are describing a squirrel. Oh, I never thought about that. But now that you mention it, I guess you are right. He was a squirrel. That explains why he was always storing food around. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. Uh, 
Um, let's see what's over here. Maybe we can find a squirrel on the way. Uh, should be an old book. Am I blind? I mean, yes, but. Is there a book somewhere that I am not seeing? Uh, they're stuck with some kind of spider web. No, oh, okay then. Does say book. Where's the book at? It is full of giant spider webs. We don't touch things in contact with the giant spider web. That's true. Talk to Giant Spider. Yeah, it's pretty impractical to carry around. Oh my god, that's so hard to see. Why? Why? I would normally say it's too heavy to move, but luckily this thing has wheels, so ta-da! And then the sewers. Cowabunga! The underworld sewers are big! God, why would this even be a thing that you'd normally do without a guide? Sure. But also, I can be the Ninja Turtles now. Eh. Red. Redder. Redder, redder. I'm not sure if it's a crime to read someone else's mail, but who cares? <clears throat> and then. <clears throat> open. I can't open it with my bare hands. The door has wet paint on it. But then that's why we have a dish towel. Open sesame! Ha! Now the wet paint is not a problem anymore. But Sadly, we ruined the paint job. will probably mess up my inventory now that it's saturated with paint, so I'd better discard it. Farewell, my yellow friend. Farewell. Goodbye. I was waiting for you. Maybe you have solved the wagon sewer enigma, and you have left the painted door challenge behind. But you have fallen in my trap this time. What? That bookshelf over there isn't any ordinary bookshelf. It's a demon-eating bookshelf. Leave now, or I will order him to eat you. That bookshelf looks pretty regular to me. Now, Jean-Pierre, he is distracted. Attack! <coughs> Damn you, Jean-Pierre. Why would I build a cybernetic chicken if he didn't obey me? Now go and peck that bounty hunter. I'm not a bounty hunter. Really? Then what are you doing here? I'm looking to find a group of human demon hunters who were pulled to this world by that bloody King Vigo. Have you seen them? There's a big fat guy, a short hyperactive guy, and a cute redhead. No, not really. I knew that Vigo had come back to the underworld, though. But if you were against him, we are on the same team. I'm Dark Alberto, the scourge of the underworld, and he is my assistant, Jean-Pierre. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Darkestville? What a coincidence. Alright then. Uh, I mean, you look like you should be in the Wild West. Hello? Yes, my friend. So, you know Darkestville? I used to live there, but 
That was a long time ago. The food was great, but the weather was terrible. Is the tavern still run by old Giuseppe? No, now it's run by his son. Little Giovanni is old enough to be the bartender? Well, he's not exactly little anymore. Wow. Time goes quicker than I thought. What are you doing in the Underworld? I'm the scourge of the Underworld, you know. Basically every night I wake up and I do acts of incommensurable evil against the Underworld denizens. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is, but it's hard to keep up with good innovative ideas. Last week I fed laxative lace birdseed to the local pigeons so they wrecked havoc on the town. Hey, I was thinking about doing the same thing. Did it work? Well, you should really use a small dose of laxative, or the birds will tend to explode in midair. That sounds even better. Yes, in theory, but if they explode too quickly and while you're still near them, yeah, it could become counterproductive. I found my new friend. So you're Vigo's enemy? Of course. He's the king. I'm the villain. We are natural enemies. I was already starting to miss ruining his existence. He went to the human world for the holidays sometime last week. But seems that he came back earlier. He probably has missed me too. How did you lose your hand? Did you know that if you mix rubber with sodium, potassium, and evil juice, you obtain a very potent inflammable explosive? No, I didn't know that. Me neither. Do you know any way inside Vigo's castle? Well, the main entrance is guarded by those pesky guards, so... You better forget forcing your way through the gate if you want to keep all your bones in place. So, what do you suggest? I heard that there is a secret entrance to the castle catacombs. I don't know exactly where it is but I have the intel of the model of the automatic door they used. So... So, we can replicate its remote control to open that door. Wonderful! What are we waiting for to build it? Sadly, I don't have the materials to build it. However, if you want to give it a try, the blueprints of it are on the chalkboard. Thanks! I will see if I can build it myself. Can you help me release the Romero brothers? No, not really. That would make Vigo so angry. Nope, nope. I'm a lone wolf. Dick. I have other matters to attend to. Have a nice day. And remember, if you tell anyone the location of my hideout, I will cut your throat. Okay. These are the blueprints to replicate the hidden door remote control. I could make it, but I would need a regular remote control to use as the base, and some speakers to amplify the positronic waves. Okay. Grab nails. I bet Dark Alberto wouldn't mind if I take some nails. But just some. I need the rest for my inventions. <laughs> okay, just some. And then a snick. Eh, okay, but just one. I'm sure Dark Alberto isn't going to like it if I take all his plush snakes. You're right. Hey, at least he, uh, reacts to what I'm saying. And then we go back up. Hi, Juju. What are you doing? Hello? Hello, stranger. Welcome to Nicolo's friendly shop. I sell the finest crafted cloth around town, and at very good prices. Okay. Why is the market so empty? This used to be a vibrant flea market. So, what happened? I ate most of the fleas. I think I have to go. You don't have to worry, my friend. You are a customer. I don't eat customers anymore. I feel so relieved now. What are those wanted signs about? Those are for the bandit known as Dark Alberto. What does he do? Dark Alberto is not a normal entity like you and me. He is a human. So? Every night he performs really annoying acts. Like changing worm pies for apple pies, teaching imps about safety regulations, or turning all the local zombies into accountants. That sounds terrible. Yes, I never have seen a zombie horde so boring in my life. Now they seem 
So lifeless. I would like to buy something. I have all kinds of clothes for you. Oh, okay. Um. Orange? How much for that orange cloth? You have really fine taste. His color is so vibrant. That piece over there is worth three gold bars and four rubies. Do you accept evil cut? No. Oh. How much for that lovely black cloth? It is lovely indeed, and is at a fraction of his regular price. It is worth only two rubies, six diamonds, and three unicorn horns. Uh, I don't think I have enough unicorn horns. What a shame. How much for that silky red cloth? I can see you like luxury. The price of that fine piece is worth only a golden elephant, ten silver camels, and your left leg. I like my leg where it is right now. I see. What's the cheapest thing you have? Well, I can sell you my old VHS player for only four diamonds. An old VHS player for four diamonds? Yes, but it's that cheap only because it's a bit damaged. I'm not sure if it works. It conserves his remote control, though. Okay. Never mind. At your service. Alright, to the lava fall. Oh my god, lucky cat. Uh, why would I punch him? Hello? Hello, young one. Looking to trade some ingredients for your spells? I don't know. What do you sell? Oh no, we don't sell. This is the Warlock Club trading post. Here, the Black Wizards exchange ingredients they are not planning to use for other items they may be looking for. <laughs> cool. What do you have for trade? Are you a member of the Warlocks Club? Yes, of course. May I see your member ID? D um, I don't have it with me at the moment. Then I'm afraid you can't access our trade club. <laughs> uh. I have other matters to attend to. I do have an egg. Goodbye, and have a nice day. Where's my ID? ID. ID. Here's my Warlock Club ID. Good, good. Welcome to the Warlock's Trading Post, Mr. Juan Carlos El Brujo. Si, senor. May I help you with something? And then I give him coins. Look, I have some gold. Good, good. Oh, this is human gold. Usually we don't accept human gold. But considering the fortune cat stock we have, I can trade you the gold. But only for a fortune cat. The last of my money for a fortune cat. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's trade. I'm sure this cat'll bring me a lot of fortune. It was a pleasure to do business with you. Oh my god, I love it. Goodbye. Back to the market. And then in here. I think... I mean, I can talk to him, but... I can also use my horn on him. I just need your horn now. Whoa! Son of a- I told you I need to concentrate. Oh, I sorry. Did I disturb you with my horn? Of course. Now shut up and help me find my hammer. It's right here. Now you see it? No, you don't. Oh, and then I talk to Toad Man again. Uh, talk. Hello. Hi. A terrible day for show business, isn't it? 
Oh wait, okay, so I already- I have a- Goodbye. I mean, yeah. I just used my lucky cat on you. Which I love and hold so dear because- This thing is supposed to bring fortune to his owner. Hey you, start working. I need money. Yeah. That doesn't need a lucky cat. Oh, oh, drum. Hey, this cat's pretty good. And relentless. What is his name? Oh, uh, his name is Fortunio, the drummer cat. It's the perfect replacement for Flavio. I want it on my show. Are you his manager? Yes, I own all the rights to this cat. Well, I want your lucky cat for the amazing 20 centimeters band. Sounds good. This is awesome. You don't find this kind of talent every day. Let's celebrate. Hey, Tito, whatever he wants to drink, it's on me, okay? As you wish, sir. Tomorrow morning, we will sign Fortunio's contract, okay? Now relax, but try not to get too drunk. Cool, free drinks. I don't listen to you. I'm gonna get so drunk. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the Dragon Contento. If you're looking for some good shooters in the best shows of all the underworld, you came to the right place. My name is Tito. I will be serving you during your visit tonight. How may I help you? Uh... Order. I would like to order something to drink. Our specialties are shooters. We have <coughs> Pegu Tequila, Penguin Rum, Diamond Vodka, Evil Goo, Bad Juju, and all the varieties of Kukamonga that you can imagine. Juju, you're in the game! Um... Diamond. I'll have a diamond vodka. A great choice. You are shooter, sir. And oh god, it's so tiny. Uh, grab. I choked on that goddamn diamond. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I do next? Okay, so I need three diamonds more. Hey. Hello, and welcome to the Dragon Contento. I, yep. I would like. Our, we have, and all. More. I have a diamond. A you are shooter, sir. Does he, he has two extra hands? Okay, I thought those were wings. I choked on that goddamn diamond. Okay. Hey! I would like. Uh, we have, and all. I'll have a diamond vop. Your shooter, hey. sir. I One more. A four. A, a five. No. Stop it. Hey. I would like. Oh, we have. And all. I'll have a diamond vodka. Oh. Sh Wait, what? I'll have a diamond vodka. Oh, I'm sorry. We've run out of diamonds. Would you like to order something else? Sure. Um, bad juju? A bad juju. A great choice. You are shooter, sir. Delicious. All right. I'm guessing I take it to the spider. Okay. <clears throat> so discount. Coupon. I have one of these. Oh no. Another one of those. I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to accept them. Give me that. You have now a 25% discount on any purchase in this shop. Lucky you. Okay. And then I give you my diamonds. Three diamonds and a discount coupon. I could sell you a lovely VHS pizza. Here you go. Hey, this thing is broken. And here is his remote control. But it seems like someone has eaten the insides of this thing. Sorry, no reimbursements. Thank you for your purchase. How am I supposed to. Sorry. No reimbursements. Thank you for your purchase. Ah, forget it. Okay, bye.
and then lava fall. Okay, bridge. Repair. I know how to hammer things. It'll take me some time. Give me a minute. Presto! And it's very well built considering I did it in just a fade in, fade out sequence. Yeah. Oh, I'm at the beach. Hi! Hey, welcome to Praia das Frangos, the most exclusive beach of the underworld. And welcome to the Infernal Crab, your new favorite beach bar. I will be your bartender, Paulo da Costa. Do you accept evil card? Of course, but don't worry about that. You can pay me at the end of the day. Hey, this place is already my favorite bar. I told you. What are you going to drink? Let me see your menu. Oh, God. What do I want to drink? Uh... Evil juice. I would like to order some evil juice. I'm all out of evil juice. What about some rum? I want some evil juice. Sorry, the shipment of evil juice is delayed. Maybe it will arrive tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Fine. I want some rum. Give me a minute. Here you go. Remember to bring back the glass when you are done. Okay. We'll see. Oh god, that guy's so loud. Let's get a drunk pelican. Seems like someone has a drinking problem. Heh. Okay. It's an ugly crab. Oh wait, it's made out of rubber. Uh, pick it up. Why not? It's just a toy. Hello? What? I said hello! Oh, yes. Hello! What are you listening to? Me? Chill out, music. Okay. Are you on vacation? What? I said, are you on vacation? Oh, yeah. I'm on vacation. What are you drinking? Uh, your drink. What is it? Oh, guava milkshake. What? What? Okay. Never mind. Goodbye. Can I take it? Ah, uh, this reminds me that with all this trouble, I wasn't able to listen to my favorite radio drama today. I wonder if Eduardo Gabriel could buy the flowers for Mercedita's birthday. He looks cool and relaxed. You can't just punch someone so chill. I mean, haven't stopped into before. What did you say? What? I don't understand you. Can you speak louder? I said louder. I can't hear you. Give me a second. Now that's much better. What did you say, my friend? Has anybody ever told you that you have a radio announcer voice? Thank you. I always wanted to work in the radio industry, but I had to run the family business. Someone has to take care of the swamp, but who knows? Maybe in the future. Okay. Never mind. Goodbye. I can't believe what I'm seeing over there. What? That in mind now. Coconut tree is the best coconut tree ever oh well I guess I have seen better coconut trees but it is pretty I grant you that okay and done now the problem with hidden entrances is that they're hidden <laughs> uh, did I punch that spell. A super fresh coconut. To the market. Oh, 
that is a that is a dead boar. Okay, uh, I need some hair. I can't carry him home, but at least I can take some hair and attempt to clone him later. Okay, and then. Okay, now I have a glass of who knows what. Let's name it sewer water. No, okay. I mean, that's what it is. Back to the beach. Hi. Here's a drink. Oh. I was expecting some kind of wild mutation. What a disappointment. And now my glass is broken. <clears throat> Back to the lava hole. Oh my god, so much running around. Chair. Not now. Okay. Where's my device at? Let's see... Hey, it works! Now that this is open, I don't think I'm going to need to use this control anymore. I'll discard it. Okay, go inside. Uh... According to this map, this cave is connected with the castle catacombs. I wasn't expecting that. I don't want to pull that lever. It could activate a trap. Nah, I'm kidding. Of course I'm gonna pull this. Presto! Isn't it beautiful when the whole solution of a problem is in the same room as the problem? I am the problem. I'll take just one. Okay, juice but just one. These things aren't good for my health. They have too much sugar. Dan? Is that you? Uh, apparently. What are you doing here? Did they catch you too? No, I... I came to rescue you guys. I knew you would come. Do you have the key to our cell? Or some master key? Or a small explosive charge? No, but I found a way to sneak in. Well, that is something. How do you plan to get us out? I don't know. I will come up with a plan. Thanks, Dan. You're our only hope. You are so welcome. You're all fucking dead. I can't pull him out of prison. I mean, he is short enough and small enough. Hey. Any news? Any idea where that door leads? Do you mean the one next to our prison? Yes. It goes up to the castle. But it's locked. However, if you are planning to open a locked door, I would like to suggest you focus on the door to our prison. How do you know it's locked? When Beagle leaves, we can hear him securing that door. I've counted, and it's locked with three reinforced locks. Do you know where your weapons are? No, when we woke up, we were already disarmed. I miss my spear. Yeah, I miss it too. We already talked about this, Walrus. The spear is mine. You got the axe. Not this discussion again, guys. We have worse things to worry about. Have you got any gunpowder left? No, my gunpowder bag was gone. But if you bring me a speaker and a remote control, I could modify it to make a small but potent sound wave cannon. Oh. I... I don't think they've got that kind of technology in the underworld. Can you make another fixed bone potion? Why do you want it? I was thinking, maybe you could break all your bones and go through the cell bars, and then take the fixed bone potion and get restored. Well, I could break all of your bones, but then who would break mine? I don't like that plan. 
Yeah, let's forget that idea. Let's focus on solutions that don't include maiming us in a gruesome way. Okay. That it was a thing. How is Vigo treating you? He got us locked in here, what can I say? But his food is pretty good. The appetizers are alright. The main course was the best. That lasagna was just the best lasagna ever. It wasn't that good. Sorry, Foxy, but his pasta's just amazing. I prefer your desserts, though. Yeah, besides, his chocolate souffle was a bit overcooked. But I didn't want to say anything to hurt Vigo's feelings. Okay, I have to admit it, his pasta was great, but I'm sure he didn't make it himself. Oh my god. Do you have any escape plan? I tried to pick the padlock, but it was no use. My skill isn't enough. I tried to smash the cell door to break it, but it didn't work. The door is heavily reinforced and my strength isn't enough. I found this dead rat. I told you to get rid of that thing. Yeah, that thing smells. But my plan is brilliant. It makes no sense. That rat isn't going to turn into a zombie. And if by a miracle it does, you will not be able to train it to find the key to our prison. But I like it. And I already gave him a name. Bubbles the zombie rat. Get rid of it. Yeah, it is stinking up our cell. Okay, I'll throw it away. But if it turns into a zombie, you will regret it. That's Don't my worry. zombie right now. I'll be back. You are our only hope. If you're going to turn into a zombie, please don't do it while you're in my pocket. Then we do that. Let's see. I think it's overcooked. This sea is awesome. It's not only warm, but I bet you don't have to worry about jellyfish stings or sharks here. Carbonized rat, okay. This picture is ready to be glued. You said that's so weird, but okay. Now we've got a love letter from a rhinoceros. Okay, back to the castle. God, he is getting so much exercise. Hey, that's a picture of my mom. Where did you find it? What is this? This is this is this. Your cherry pie! What does this mean? Uh, I don't know. That little guy over there gave me the letter. I'm going to kill him! Hey, you! What? Oh, Police shit! Police brutality! Wait, wait! How many sources your mom? She has two warts in her nose like my mom. That can apply to almost everyone in your family. What? No, I mean, it can be any rhinoceros. Oh, well, that's true. Maybe she wasn't my mom. I think you should ask next time. Hey, you know my mom? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well then, if it isn't, my mistake. No problem, sir. The problem with the mammals is that they can't act in cold blood. Look, you broke another staff. Damn. I'm screwed. The boss will get mad at me. Go inside and change it. I'll cover you. Good idea. And you, there's nothing to see here. Get lost. And if someone asks you, you didn't see a thing. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. But you see, back to the future.
gosh! You were really old! The Imp Scouts are always ready to assist senior citizens like you! So, I have something for you. A cookie a day will keep the doctor away. Just a cookie? Yes, just one cookie. If you're over 200 years, I don't think it's a good idea to give you too much sugar. Or salt. Or fat. Or carbohydrates. So, just one cookie for you. Can I at least pick which flavor? Uh, okay. I have chocolate, pistachio, vanilla, and blueberry cookies. What kind of cookie do you want? Uh, vanilla. I want a vanilla cookie. Here you go! Wait, what if I change my mind? You can change it anytime you want, but as long as it doesn't have any bites in it, okay? Okay. Okay. No. Portal room. So you have decided to some uh, to wait. So you s decided to have a ghost before bringing a ghost into your family. It is important to know how to take care of it. You need to provide for its needs. This means ensuring that the ghost is happy pro by providing ample play time, plenty of exercise, and stimulation for its mind. This book will help you know more about your ghost. Ghost nutrition. Ghosts ma mainly feed on nothing. Something that makes them a perfect pet for poor people. <laughs> oh god, that's so much to read. Um, Bink says I don't have to read it because she just rammed her face into my wall. Five reasons to choose a ghost over other pets. Talking about having a pet ghost is a great way to start a conversation. Ghosts can be a great influence for your kids that Binks won't stop ramming her face into things. Ghost will help to keep your house or dungeon safe. Having a ghost may help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Ghosts are a lot of fun, and they are great at playing dead. Uh, you know, they, they're, they're, they're allergic to uh, holy damage. Um, they have the blues. They have mustaches. Um, and they can summon themselves, probably. Hi, Binks. Okay, I guess I'll have to hold you all doing this. Uh, do 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 do. Okay. Oh, that's put the hair, the droop, and the star. And okay, hi Binks. Yep. Touch my face. Okay. Five things you'll never <laughs> know about ghosts. Okay. Don't forget to buy. Do, 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 do. Okay, other books. And Guardian Ghost and Dungeons. Okay. Okay, so, thanks. I need to reach my phone. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Giant Wild Boar. I have to do this with one hand. Okay, cool. Thanks, Binks. Uh, where is it? That oh, that's a coconut. Um, where's the hair at there? Okay. An offering to the dead. Uh. Binks, you're making this very difficult. An offering to the dead. An offering to the dead. Oh. Ooh, hello! Hi! Are you a ghost? Me? Oh, yes sir, I'm a ghost! My name is Ghostly! Huh? You made the ritual to bring me back to this world? Mmm, yes? Thank you! You're my new best friend! Yeah! Okay, Mickey Mouse. Why do you look so happy? Life is fun! But oh, he's on drugs. That is fun! Golly, I'm alive! <laughs> How Hi, did you die? 
Ghostly doesn't like to talk about it. Come on, you can tell your friend, Sid. I was walking with a brand new pair of scissors when I realized a group of thieves were waiting for me inside this ruin. Sadly, their smell attracted a group of zombies and they ate the thieves alive, but their screams called the attention of a dragon. The dragon dissolved the zombies with his corrosive breath, and just after the dragon flew away, I was bitten by a snake. I don't like snakes. Don't worry, there are no snakes around. I like you. You're my friend. I'm really afraid of snakes. Well, you're gonna hate me in a second, then. How does it then. feel to be dead? I feel butterflies in my belly! Well, I think you have a couple of crickets living on what used to be your body. Maybe it's that? I don't know. Maybe? Stop being so happy. You're creeping me out. No! Uh... Okay. Do you have any clues about the slots and stained glass in this room? Oh, when I was alive, I studied that! Then, what's it all about? The legend says that the old kings of the underworld created this place to hide a treasure, and it will be revealed when the three slots are filled with the right items. A bear, a seahorse, and a rat. And no one's filled it yet? Many people have tried, but it seems that it has to be the right bear, seahorse, and rat. I see. Puzzles are funny. No, they're not. They're complicated. Yeah. I have other matters to attend to. I would follow you, but I have to stay near my corpse. Lucky me. Huh. Okay, and then, uh, you're gonna hate me for this. But here you go. Watch out! A snake! Hey, what happened to you? I don't know! I'm scared! Why are you blue now? I don't know! Make it stop! Make it stop! Okay. Uh. What? Woo! Back to normal! Whee! Why? I don't know! Life is fun! I'm gonna go. Bye. Thinks that's your tail. Don't don't eat your tail. Um, lava fall. An interesting item you have there. What do you want to trade for it? Uh, voodoo. I want to trade it for the voodoo bear. Great choice. Hope you don't regret it. Because if you regret it, you can exchange it back here, so don't worry. Thanks. Goodbye. Oh, okay. That you're still weird. What a great idea! Look! It's a seahorse! Isn't that beautiful? No, it isn't. This is an abomination. Oh, that... That is abomination, oh my god. Hey! It fits! Presto, it fits. There you go, Mr. Claus. It was good to meet you. What is this? A lousily made seahorse? An infantile teddy bear? And a burnt rat? This means... Yikes. You're back! We knew you would eventually come back to us, sweet cheeks. Have you already enslaved mankind? Do you have a girlfriend? Have you spread evil among the land? Do you brush your teeth every night? We have so many questions. But sadly, we would never be able to listen to your answers. This is a pre-recorded message, Junior. 
If you are listening to this, we've been gone for a long time. But we leave you a present. This will help you achieve what you wish. We're sure this is what you need. Why do we know it? We're your parents, after all. If you don't need it now, we're sure you'll need it soon. Time is running out. Goodbye, Junior. Goodbye, sweet cheeks. Remember, as Mama told you, never share your sweets with other kids. Take care of yourself. We love you. Son, never forget you are a Della Morte. Be an instrument of evil. This kingdom is yours. Bye, sweetie. Farewell. Ha! They mistook me for their long lost son. Suckers. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm concerned that I guess he is that stupid. I'm sorry, whoever they think I am. I'm taking this for me. Okay, and then... Now this potassium chloride with rubber and a detonator. This is not explosive yet, but it's the beginning of something. Something. Presto! At least I have explosives. And now, we go blow shit up. Okay, this is going to blow. Take cover. Three, two, one. Are you ready for some cake? Zero. Now escape. But... Just head that way. I'll join you later. You are not going anywhere. Ouch. You. Because of you, there are now three demon hunters loose in the underworld. Do you have any idea what kind of threat they pose down here? Nope, but now we're even. You made a mess in my castle. I will crush you! I will fight to the death, or I will die trying. No, wait, that didn't make much sense. Enough talk! Prepare to die! No. Hey, yeah. Don't go that way. That's my place. Don't touch anything. Ah, okay, stop. Wow. Okay. This must be Vigo's piggy. Oh, I cut him off. But oh well. To the inventory you go. Presto! This screwdriver is awesome! These corridors are pretty confusing. I think I lost him. So, looks like someone has a lot of time to read. I can't use the ruby there. Where am I using this at? <clears throat> I can't use the ruby there. Oh, Jesus. There you are! Would you please stop touching my expensive stuff and just stand still? Nope!
Where's that? Oh, that's the library. Um. You can run, but you can't hide. That's not true. I was hiding here until you found me. Yeah. Oh, shut up and just stand still. Nope. Oh, here's the laboratory. Great. It fits perfectly. What a fortunate coincidence. Let's see what we've got inside. A maimed tentacle, a chimp head, diet mayonnaise, and jackpot, delicious walnut pie. always find cool stuff below the couch. Like, for instance, this cat hairball. Yuck. Oh my god. An offering to the dead. An offering to the dead. Oh, and you're back. There you are! Would you please stop touching my expensive stuff and just stand still? Nope! I need to get back in the room. An offering to the dead. Hey. Hello? Uh, grr. Grr. It's the second ghost I've got, so 400 points for me. Woo! I'm Pac-Man. Let's see. C slash slash DIR enter. Hmm. Okay, now laser dot exe enter. It works. Uh, according to these signals, mixing ectoplasm with chicken mutagen turns it volatile and flammable. So... why not? Well, so far it is volatile. Hey, what are you doing there? Stop messing with my research! No. And at least there's no fire to ignite the fume. Oh, damn. So, King Vigo was defeated, and once again they used the portals to teleport themselves back to the world of the mortals. This is how the story has come to an end, with Demon Hunters safe and Sid as his friend. You should understand by now why I warned you about this ending. Because a demon should only be kind when he is pretending. 
And even if in the future, infamous on the underworld he will be, to know that Sid can do good is the saddest thing for a demon like me. Thanks, Dan. You have proven yourself to be an exceptional man. If more people were like you, this world would be a better place. Thank you for your help, Dan Teapot. Ah, uh, there seem to be more than a few things wrong with that sentence. Now that I think of it, where is Dan anyway? I think he was plotting to trap me in the underworld. I wonder why he failed. What are you talking about? You are Dan Teapot. Oh, yeah. About that, I think we should talk. Final score. Okay, well, that was Darkest Field Castle. Um, I would have gotten it done sooner, but I got sick, like, after the first episode. Um, it's not really my type of gameplay. And also, it, a lot of things were not obvious to be combining and stuff, so I had to use a walkthrough through a lot of it, um, but I really enjoyed the jokes and the voice acting was amazing, but yeah, I did like it overall. Um, I think that's about it. So thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>